So the Genshin Impact Killer has arrived, and it's actually pretty interesting, I'd say. It is an open, open world RPG, and it's urbanistic, right? So this is Project Mugen. This is a game that is being developed by Naked Ring Studio and published by NetEase. And they're saying that this is supposed to release in some time, but they're supposed to be dropping some information, well, further information at Gamescom sometime next week around august 24th this game is set to release on ps5 pc and mobile and this game looks strangely familiar to zenla zone zero so let's get a little bit of extra information regarding this thanks to the website of jimetsu so this is supposed like i said it's supposed to release on a mobile and it has a lot of gifts that we can actually check out so i want to actually boot up one of these gifts and it looks great so overall the graphics looks pretty nice as well but god this game looks just like Zenla zone zero and you know we could check out the official website so if you go on the official website there's not too much to be seen for their official website like all it shows is actually just the time limit and the you know the aforementioned characters but we'll check out each of these gifts and you know do a little explanation so for the first gift we have hopefully there's transportation you know certain vehicles you know hopefully we can get that but overall the it's very anime styled like the way the explosion actually blows up in per se i'm actually enlarging so it's a little bit bigger for you guys but the overall explosion just looks amazing i love i love just the designs and character art for both of both of the female waifus over here as they're probably what traveling through japan so then we moved on to the second GIF. Now, this one shows a little bit of some of the how combat works. Now, I'm actually not. This looks good. I like the little yo-yo effect. Now, I wonder if this is going to be more of a gotcha-based game. Or is it just going to be just, you know, a single-player or multiplayer experience? Now, and of course, if this is going to be a Genshin Impact killer, it's probably going to have a well good you know gotcha system so we'll hopefully see from there but overall just look at the combat overall I like the it's very hyper stylized and it definitely fits the world and the theme behind it like the aesthetic behind it so then we got the third which kind of gives you a direct overview of the entire world and like i said it gives me zenla zone zero's kind of vibe and which we'll be getting information regarding that game as well at gamescon so i can't wait to check out that but the overall overarching city and like this skyscrapers and stuff like that looks very well kind of has like a the clouds look more like art like artistically drawn like they definitely don't look rendered like they look like they've been drawn but it looks nice if like i said this all fits the universe now my next favorite part <laughs> is the fact of that there is driving now these look definitely look more modernistic so like i said it's more of an urban take on a on a open world rpg so it's not like you know this is taking back thirty thousand years in a past where it's you know spells swords and casting you know modern technology hasn't taken apart but no modern technology is definitely a gift it reminds me of like hankai impact uh how about i get hankai impact third and as well as hankai star road just were like technology or something but no this is more like modern day technology and just looking at this looks like we're actually able to drive we're looking back at the first gift you know with the whole bike and everything i feel like we can ride that as well like that is another mount that we can use but the way this gift looks overall it looks like we'll be doing a lot more than just riding mounts like we can actually check out mo like an actual drive around cars and actually go from place to place to place location to location and last but not least we have one of our main waifus waiting on a train now this may look like a sort of essential like where you could be able to how most games allow you to teleport from location to location this train system might be a way to get from large distances while the cars and the bikes allows you to get across short distance so you don't have to sit there and drive a car from one point of the map to the next point of the map you could just hop in the train and then you're at the other end of the map so we have and that's pretty much about it like i said i will be checking more out about this game next week august 24th so definitely stay tuned for that because i want to talk a little bit more but we need a little bit more information like even on their twitter page they only have one actual post 
like there's not too much information regarding this so i'm guessing they're waiting to do the full reveal i'm sorry not august 24th it's august 23rd a full reveal is planned for august 23rd at 7 p.m pacific standard time is 10 p.m eastern standard time so i would definitely be <laughs> definitely be checking that because this looks hype just overall from the overarching gameplay the way the world looks and just this new urbanistic world and modern day technology situation oh i love it but what do you guys think about project mugen is this something you guys are pretty hyped for would you guys be playing this day one i want to hear you guys thoughts about it let me know in the comment section below if you want to know more about Project Mugen or any other RPGs out there, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Your boy's on his way to a thousand subscribers. We 200 away, so let's hit that goal. As well as like the video as well. Helps, helps puts the video to the next person so they can be able to check it out. But as always, it's been your host, KSD TV. Here at Canada Inc. Signing out. Peace. The rest, I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest. No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best. Chefing, hard times taught lessons. Praying every night to pull up in park benzes. What's my home is what you call trenches. You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses. It's all tension, no sun, it raining plenty. Full time job, still can never make a penny. I ain't rapping for clout, I know the fame is empty, and it's a dangerous.